Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today we are doing a cook with me, but a longer form version because why not? I said so. So today, this is a favorite in my heart. This is something that every year it gets clean quickly. Like you have to be fast. Like if you're not fast to eat these, you're not gonna get any, like that's it. So today we are making the one, the only, mushroom canapes. Now to you, you're gonna say, what is this? What does this mean to me? It means nothing. Well, to me, it means something. What's funny about this is this was actually a Paula Deen recipe, the Q Paula Deen. But the thing is, is of course my mom has changed it, altered it over the years. So now I would call this more her recipe in the sense that she's changed so much, it's almost not the same recipe. It's just like the same idea. So let's just start making it because I'm really excited. So yeah, you basically, look at this loaf. It's a long loaf. Every time in the movies where like they break it open and like smell it, that's how they know. See ours, if you're not from America, ours is so soft. Like see this? It's not hard. So the first step is you're gonna get a thin loaf about this size and you're just gonna cut it into small pieces. Sure, then you just think you can always cut more, cut less, but yeah, then you're gonna like set these aside and then you're gonna put them. So we're later going to cook these and then put them on a tray. I'll explain her, so I'm just gonna put them in a stack over there. It's probably fine. Okay, I know you're probably thinking, why didn't you just get a cutting board? Because it's too much work. I don't wanna get a cutting board. You know what's funny is I make myself sound so lazy and I'm really not that lazy. So then, here's the thing. I don't know how much mushrooms. Mom, how many mushrooms? Probably like six or eight. What if they're sliced already? That's all right. Oh, sliced? Yeah, I thought like- right, You need to be, you need to have maybe like fourth of a cup to a third of a cup. Okay. So you heard her. You said a fourth of a cup or a third of a cup. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm using, yes, I'm using this chopper because... Look at that. Look how much time that just saved me. That's crazy. You just chop it. Like you could just really take out all your anger on these mushrooms and on this chopper. If some bitch disrespected you, you know? So let's make sure this is like a third of a cup. Ooh. I did not know if gravity was gonna stop that. Oh my gosh, still need one. We really need like one more mushroom. So I think that's good. So now you're gonna literally cook them in a pan with butter because it makes it good with butter and garlic. Oh, I need to miss the garlic. Oh, I have the garlic. Mom, how many garlic cloves? Save one, two, maybe. Depends on how big the garlic cloves. Sadly, I don't measure this stuff. I know. So is it? Is it like? Do you think a big one? Just one yes. big? One? Okay. basically done yeah they're basically done i think that's enough if not i can always make more now we're gonna grade the parmesan which will half of a cup almost cut myself but you know that's fine i didn't so we move forward okay great 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 oh my god totally random story but i'm in a sculpture class at school so my school started again and i'm not gonna lie i think i'm pretty excited about it oh. I don't know how it's gonna go though. And I don't know like how well I'm gonna do. But I have ideas, so I'm hoping that like, I could just do enough to get by. Because that's not really usually my cup of tea, but you know, I think that's good. Mmm, so good. Now you're gonna add that into the mushrooms. Now you're gonna do three fourths of a cup of mayo. Which is kind of a lot, but the recipe actually originally called for a whole cup, and my mom cut that down. Because just no. But yeah, that's why I enjoy cooking so much. But oh my god, I didn't even tell you why this is so special to me. Because every single year, my mom only makes this on Thanksgiving. And every time my mom always says, like, we can make this any other time of the year, we'll just have to eat it on Thanksgiving. But that's the only time we ever end up eating it. Like this is gonna be a weird experience for me. Like you guys should feel so honored that I'm sharing this with you, even though you didn't ask. So then they go. Then wait mom, so how much crunchies? 
Two ounces. Oh, do a, a fourth of a cup, right? It says add eight point two ounce container. No, it's a two point eight ounce. But should I just do a yes. fourth of a cup? So I would just do. All right, yeah, yeah. You said a heaping fourth. And maybe I should come and look at the view and I'll come. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing too. Like my mom eyeballs this, and sometimes she doesn't even write it down. So then, like she knows, but then I don't know. For her to even have written anything down in the cookbook is a pretty big deal. <laughs> she apologizes, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's a time thing. She said. So yeah, we're just doing like a heaping fourth. That probably sounds good. She uses like I call them Frenchies, but they're Frenches. French is crispy onions, original. Like you put them on burgers and stuff. That's fine. No, I know. Okay, so we didn't get the same approval, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we're gonna cook more mushrooms and then I'll just see you in never time. Wait, so then how many do I need to do extra things? I'm messing it up. No, so why don't you just try making some first? I bet that's why it looked funny because you've missed your mushrooms. So I guess I was too aggressive with the mushrooms. So <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna run with it. So don't aggressively take out your anger. It also tastes good. Don't aggressively take out anger on your chopper. Maybe if you're gonna mince something, but don't do it for the mushrooms. They're only supposed to be chopped. God, why'd you guys tell me that? It was you guys, I know it was. <laughs> okay, so then after this, do you think it's good? I'm gonna come over and get your sample approval again. Yes. I was like, I can't even tell when these are done. Okay, yeah, they're going in. All right, sample approval number two. She said more crunchies, and then she said we're good. We did it. That looks more right. Okay, so now, my God, my cat is getting in the counter. Stop! Cookie, cookie, cookie. You know, do you put them all together? I couldn't remember. Okay, see, clearly I can't remember what the fuck I'm doing. But, so you put all your little slices on a cute little tray like this. Crunchies, you need to move. Okay, then you put a cute little dollop on. Kind of make sure it's spread out pretty good. Like that. And then you just put them into the broiler until it's golden brown and like bubbly. And that's it. It's a really easy recipe. That's why, you know, I know obviously I was messing it up, but that was just because my mom usually makes the filling. Okay. My mom makes the filling and then usually my sister and I will teamwork it, do it together to do this part. As you can see, I'm very good at this. I'm totally kidding. It's just because it's just putting this on the bread. Yeah, so I didn't know what I was doing. And like my mom says, she doesn't measure anything ever. So you never really know how much, you just don't. But it's okay, she gave the sample approval, so these should be good now. Okay, so into the boiler, they go. Huh? Yeah, like you never made it. Mom, we made it once a year. Do you see her giving me shit? What? What happened here? I have a memory. It just sometimes doesn't work well. Okay, they're super hot, but they're definitely, they smell and look just like Thanksgiving. That's what it is. But that's the thing with this. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool down. But that's the thing. You can make this really any time of the year. It's not a Thanksgiving thing. It's just in my brain, it reminds me of Thanksgiving because of when we make it and because we only make it at the time. I wanna take a bite so bad, but I know I'm gonna burn my tongue. I already burned my tongue today. I made one of my TikToks and I literally burned. I just burned it. I do it all the time. So I'm trying not to, but I feel like it'll probably still happen. Just look, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. They're just so good. Like seriously, if you guys ever make this, leave a comment down below if you make it. I'll put the ingredients list somewhere on the screen here of like about what it is and hopefully it'll be good. Because that's the thing, like I have my mom's hand for approval, but I bet it'll be so delicious. Yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. And like I've always say, leave a comment down below if anything you wanna see me do. I have ideas, but you just let me know. Just give me a call. I mean, actually don't call me. But leave a comment for her. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So cheers. Oh, I have to get my mom's name approval. She said delish, we're good. So yeah, bye. See you guys next time.